hey guys welcome back to the part 5 of this simple to do application in this we are going to fetch all the data available on the back end and list them on the front end but before doing so let me explain you the folder structure of front end side so if you expand the front end first of all we have node modules that will consist of all the installed packages then we have public for html and icons and then we have source in this we are going to work the most and then we have few more files like package json package log readme view configuration etc inside the source directory we have the asset whereby we store all the logos images etc and then we have component this is where we are going to create our component today then this is not actually required for us the plugins one because it is automatically made then we have routers this decides on which path where will go to and then we have views this is where also we are going to work today and app and main.js we don't usually touch this main.js okay so let's go to the app.view and all the view files have an extension of dot view if you go back to the uh, browser and have a look at this this has all the default data available so we are going to clean this up and remove this and rename this so let's go ahead and do that for that we are going to go inside the app.view and let's start by clearing everything we don't need this we don't need this we don't need a button on the right hand side but we need a div with class of d dash flex and align center this should be flex and then inside this we have something called as v toolbar title so we are going to use that toolbar dash title this everything whatever i am coding over here comes from the beautify website and you all can have a look at it and over here i am going to put this as to do app and i don't want the primary color scheme over here but i want a deep purple so i'm going to do that let's save it and check it out how it looks oh before that we need to make sure that our server is running for that npm run serve and there we go our color scheme has been changed on the nav bar and also the name has changed now let's go and remove all this i don't want the about view so we'll delete that and in the router.js since we don't have any about page now we'll remove the about part and once we have removed the about page uh, let's go to home.js and it leads to hello world component so let's go inside the hello world component and in hello world component let's just remove everything and we'll keep only v containers and in the assets we don't need all these logos so let's remove the logos as well and let's try to run the server once again and there we go we have cleaned our application nothing is available anymore and let's go ahead and start coding for that let's go to the beautify page and over here search for list and at the bottom of the page we have item list group so navigate over there and if we scroll down to flat list we'll have this two kind of section available with us that is section controls because this also we need and this also so i'm going to just expand this copy the code from v list and uh, let's go onto the code and paste it over here but this will come in a v row and inside v row we will have v column that is v call and we'll give this a uh, columns of 12 okay this everything comes from the beautify website it is similar to bootstrap i'm going to give this as selected it should have multiple selected then this will be instead of items i'm going to create a data variable called as to do list I remove the index because i don't need the index 
I don't need a divider so let's remove that and remove the V else because we don't need that as well and the key will be item dot ID actually you know what instead of having an extra template over here let's just remove the template and give V list item itself a for loop there's no value available over here and the color actually I want this color accent to be present or over here on the list group this will be color deep purple because I want it to look like purple color we again don't need a template over here because we are directly going to use it let's remove templates in the content we have a title so we'll give it item dot title and I don't really want to use this v dash text no particular reason I just like it printing it this way so it will be item dot title because in the back end we have a title field so this is one thing and I want it to look strong <laughs> so I'm giving it a strong then after title we also have something called as description so I'm going to give it inside subtitle so it will be v dash list dash subtitle and inside this we are going to print the item dot description so this is done and in action yes we do want a checkbox that verifies whether the item is complete or not and it will work on item dot is complete yes this will also have a deep purple color so that's it and yes let's print a number before that actually id before that so in order to print ID, I have better idea. So over y'all, y'all can see these icons. So instead of icons, we'll put the ID. For that, this is the code. And we'll give it the ID. This will be item dot ID. And let me just format it properly. okay so that's how the front end looks like and now we are going to write the main code in order to get the back end data on the front end so scroll down to the script part and over here we are going to import axios from axios we don't want to give any name over here because we are going to rename this page and we will have a data and inside this data we are going to have this variable to do list this is an array so we are going to declare it a blank one after this we are going to use a mounted hook what is a hook if you ask me in simple words whenever a page is loaded or page is exited some type of hook is called this is one of them so i'm going to use this and uh, fetch all the data when whenever mounted is called and we also have methods so over here we declare functions and those functions can be called from mounted or we can directly declare it over here as well but oh, right now i'm going to just create a method and call it from here get to do's get to do's if you have any time worked with ajax calls this is uh, this access is similar to that so we are going to use access now access dot get and over here we are going to pass in a URL and the URL is the backend URL this is the URL that we are going to pass and receive all the data this URL we have passed and then we have then because this is promise and we are going to have a response First of all, we'll print this response in the console log and then we'll assign the response data to to-do list. So let's go ahead and print it first to show you all how the data comes. Let me run the server. Okay, we are facing some error. Let's try to fix it. So let's try to install the access package again. 
npm install access and let's run, try to run the server now so we get an error because over here we have specified a data variable but we have not yet created it so let's do that and this will also be an array i'll declare it as empty array let me clear everything and reload the page now we get an error and this error i know why this error is coming because we need to keep our backend server also running for our front end to access the backend data so i've created new terminal over here and i'll go inside the backend code and i'll run the server python manage.py run server and let's check it out there we go we don't have any error but we don't print we don't show anything over here why is that because we haven't assigned it properly if we expand this the response variable and check the data in this data we have the list of records available so we have to assign this data to the to do list so let's do that so i'm going to access by this dot to do list and it will have response dot data and i think that should do our job let's save it uh, let me just restart the server again and there we go we are able to list the backend data over here but then we get a small error let me fix that it is not v dash list subtitle but it is v dash list dash item dash subtitle and i will have to restart the server again and there we go we have successfully fetched all the backend data and listed them on front end before we end this video i want to do one thing rename this component to to do and once we rename it we have to also go in the home dot view and rename over there as well to do and here as well so that's it guys for this video in the next one we are going to create a form to add new records in the to do list see you in the next one